Okay, we ready? Окей. Хей, 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 Пандамониум Радио Шоу, сезона 3, епизода Борис 78. Здраво и добре дойдете в вишено издание на нашиот подкаст. Аз съм Дарко Айри Скреч, ова е моят човек Трайча и Кейт Активити. Здраво, Трайча. Здраво, Дарко. Здраво, Пандамониум Радио Екипо. Се надавам дека сте добро. 78 епизода, директно от Локал 45. Огромен шарот за Локал 45. Неголема любов. Дефинитивно, бидејќи ова е вонредна ситуација, а, поради технички причини не можевме да снимаме кај мене дома. Епизодова мораше да се деси. Многу сакавме да го направиме ова. Мораше да се деси. Имавме одличен викенд со нашите гости и мораше да ги земе да ги, да ги донесеме да правиме подкаст. Така да ќе ја правиме ова епизода од Локал 45, уште еднаш благодарност за Нившо ни го пружи овој простор. Снимаме во Нерала преку ден, имавме многу убав викенд, цел викенд исполнен со нашите гости. И решивме дека мора да го направиме ова и да ја снимаме ова епизода. Па така ќе ја правиме на англиски, бидејќи они доаѓаат од Швейцарија и мислам дека е супер да направиме втора епизода на англиски Absolutely. после Pin, Pin Music Conference Special. Така да да ги представиме нашите гости. Ова е Тобиас Фунфхундрат, coming from Шафхаузен, Свитсерленд. Uh, yes, Hello, Тоби. Yes, yes. So, yeah, yeah. How we say? I'm uh, Toby from Switzerland, Pound 500. OG on the DJ scene there, on the hip-hop scene. Yeah. And when I would you, say, you say it? <laughs> I say it to you when we are drunk sometimes, but I say it on the camera. One of my idols as a DJ, I look up to him since we I... Spoke, thanks, thank we, yeah, we spoke about that like since last, I, last since episode. Since I yeah. met him okay. and I follow him and thank his you. parties and everything he does. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy that you are here uh, for the weekend and also happy that you are here for the podcast as well. This is... Uh, Appreciate Lionel. Yeah. DJ Curl, part of uh, Shosu Agency with uh, Pound, uh, with Tobias. Hello, Curl. How are you? Hello, I'm Lionel, DJ Curl from Schaffhausen as well, same city. Then uh, Tobias, Pound 500, and yeah, Toby, <laughs> no, known as Toby. And yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here, guys. Hey, uh, thanks for making the effort to come here after uh, this hard weekend that we all of us had. Very intense, very hectic, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, I'm very happy that we can cap off the weekend with this podcast because uh, we talked to to, uh, to Trajče, we really wanted to make a podcast with guest DJs and to talk more about the DJ stuff, the parties, the night scene in Switzerland, in Macedonia, the music, the crates, the new styles, the old styles, the festivals and everything else that we do, so... I was with you for the whole weekend, but I wanted you. T- uh, but I wanted to ask you still, how was your weekend? It's your first time in Macedonia. How do you like it? Well, yeah, it's my first time. First of all, big shout out to the to the whole crew, to the whole Sure Shots crew. Thanks for having us. Well, for me, it was it was really nice. It was the first time in Macedonia, and yeah, bro, it it was it was nice to to go back in history a little bit to play some old songs. I just recognized that they. Yeah, they really like songs like Hypnotize and the DMX stuff and all these things. What do you think is the what's the the main difference? Like the first the first uh, time that you play here in Macedonia, three three gigs in three days. What are the songs that you maybe you didn't expect to go well, but did go well, or some of the songs that you played and you was expecting a big reaction from the crowd, but you didn't really get any. Well, actually, I didn't expect that Afro beats working that well. I, I didn't expect that they know the songs, they can sing along. And you think it works well? Yeah, it, it works better than I expect. Okay. Way better than I expect. That's good for me. Uh, That's good to hear. Yeah. What was what was a, a big surprise was when we are when you are yesterday playing De Bote, okay. this Latin song. Yes. I mean, the whole crowd was singing along, and I was like, damn. Why did I play that song the two days ago, like in on Tuesday or Friday? Yeah. To be honest, I was expecting the big song. Played. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't thought that it would be worked out that good. Yeah. Tebote is a big hit. It's a uh, global hit, and uh, I think it came to Macedonia a bit late, like maybe two years after its release, but it's still bubbling now. So I think it's here to stay at least for a while until it gets overplayed, like, mm-hmm. like a lot of the other stuff. Uh, how was your weekend? We can do the. We usually do the weekend recap yeah. when we start the episode because we usually re- record this on Tuesdays, and I talk mostly about my weekend. How was it? What parties yeah. I went to? What type of fun I had? So we had a lot of fun on Thursday, spicy Thursday. Spicy was lit. Was lit. Yeah, spicy was crazy. 
Um, this party, I think, it was in one of the best clubs, would you say, in, in, in this city. And it was, it was a blast. We had, we had a great time. The crowd was nice. They were open-minded for new songs, for, for up-tempo things. For, yeah, they, they, were, they were good. Yeah, they were really good. Toby, how was your night on Thursday? Yeah. <laughs> how was your night, Toby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every night was great in uh, Macedonia. <laughs> Like also the last time, years 2019. Before, yeah, yeah. But wha what they, uh, what you do, uh, what Shusha do here is, since I know it is unbelievable. As when I, what I feel on first day, also like he said, very open-minded, a lot of energy. They celebrate the, the DJ, the culture. You know, you con can connect with the people. Yeah. Still have a blast. Mm. Rachel, what do you think ab about yeah. Thursday? Because it was the first time you listened to both of them, did yeah, you? Yeah, so uh, like, uh, I, I, I even told you on Thursday, like, I've known about you. I, I didn't know about DJ Curl. Darko told me, like, hey, these guys are coming to, to Macedonia. They're going to play some, and they're, they're going to be guests on, on Spicy Thursdays. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear them. I've heard about you a lot because Darko has been telling me about you, like, this is like an idol to me, like the way he plays, the stuff he plays, how he's keeping up with the music, like each and every release, like he listens to, no, to the new stuff and he wants to experiment with the new stuff. He likes to try it out, like, and I wanted to hear and I was like, when we started talking and when I saw what, what Curl was playing and what you were playing, like, um, I had a really fun time because it's, and I said this before, like uh, offline, like, it's not about like so, many, so much different songs, but the way you play them, like that's the most like, characteristic uh, thing about the night that I can remember because like the sets were so much different than, than like what, what I replayed that like but you feel the same type of energy you know so like and when, when we spoke you told me like you, you wanted to go into the crazy stuff which and Dal Dar Dar Darko told me like he was like yeah man he knows he knows to play like Bele Funk and, and Brazilian stuff and whatnot and I'm not that much into that stuff but I appreciate it. I, I respect it. So hearing that and like you going off like that, that like like the way you went, uh, like and people having actually having a really good time to that type of music, yeah. like that was the best thing. So and I I can like draw a comparison between you guys and Shershas, the way you operate and the way you play your music, the way you you bring your energy to the to the decks. Like I, I really appreciate it, and it it was really quite refreshing to see like international DJs coming to a place that they haven't been there for like three, four years after Corona, after, after like like everything the world's been through, like you don't know what to play. Like Darko had had that struggle like in, in before, like where he didn't basically know what was going to be popping and what was not. And now like two years later, it's like everybody's having a great time. And what Curl said, like people were very receptive of like Latino music, like Afro music, which... It, it's not quite the standard here, but like people were open to it, and I really appreciate it when somebody from like uh, like internationally comes here and people actually respect him for, for for what he does, and like that's why like the way you play things, it's it's different than what Darko plays and like how he usually plays it, and yours was more like high energetic, like switching up songs like real fast, like doing edits and everything like that. So that's that, that's like it's really nice to see like. Having a DJ always with his hands full on the decks, you know? So, like, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how Stip and Kavadrasi went, but I was, I was there on Thursday, and I really had a good time. Like, the song selection was quite nice, and, like, it, it took me off guard. Some of the songs took me off guard. Like, what was the highlight for you? <sighs> Which song? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure Make about the really song, but, out. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, I think one of the, like Missy Elliott, I think he played a remix of Missy Elliott, like some, something like Brazilian, like something like an EDM trap remix with, with a Brazilian funk on it. It oh, was down EDM. tempo. No, no, not, not oh, yeah. EDM, like trap, something like that. <laughs> but it was really crazy. And like I, I gave, I gave Darko a, like, like a certain look, like look at what this guy's playing right now. Like he's going crazy. And like he, he didn't want to stop. He didn't want to stop on Thursday. Yeah, he did uh, not want to stop. That's the thing. We need one more hour there, at least till five. It was around four o'clock. I, I was feeling like, oh man, now we need one more hour or one more hour to play the bankers really and then go, one more yeah. hour closing. <laughs> I always must say when you, when you have a, a good warm up DJ like on Thursday, also the the headliner, my girl doing the headliner thing, 
with a lot of energy, with also yeah. a lot of tracks you you hear in a headliner set as a in a hip hop party. Yeah. So yeah. then it's very easy to wilding out in the end. It depends always on your playtime and when I'm do headlining eight or ten years before here I completely play different. Yeah. You know, as a headliner coming with an intro. Yeah. Play more stuff than the people know and want. And in the end, a little bit give to people something. Oh, I don't. I never hear it here. Oh, I, I mean, never heard it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I respect about good DJs, and that's why that's yes. where I draw the yeah. comparison with with you guys. Me too. Me too. I want to. I'm interesting in. I'm a fan of DJs who I need to Shazam or get in touch with the DJs. Yeah. So hey, what is this track? Where yeah. you get it from? Yeah, that's like that. That's the main thing. Like that's that's where I draw the comparison between you guys. Like. Darko and Shorty P are like literally uh, I draw a comparison between you two guys because like they have the same type of energy between them like Shorty has been so like Shorty P has been like for so so many years in the game like and now like Darko is stepping in as the as the main guy like and then Shorty P does everything great but he, his role is not like a support role he's basically the main role but in a more like a like a like he's standing like in the back, but he's doing a lot of things in the back. Only if you listen to. So that's why like you had a pretty like crazy, crazy closing on, on, on Thursday. Bro, I think we had a very crazy night and I I'm 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 glad that you liked the warm up as well because I talk also with Curl and with uh, Toby that uh, they both they both loved uh Pancho's warm up because everyone was yes. singing it was great. Was playing for the yeah. girls and yeah. and even you told me that you play uh seventy Five percent of those tracks in your warm-up sets, right? Yeah, as you said, always for the girls. If the girls dance, for the, the girls. guys are happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And just another thing we were talking about yesterday is is that thing about the intro. Yes. Like, yeah, you ask or you talking about how we mix. That's actually one thing which I learned from him. He he, he told me like, a producer build a song, and you have to. I kind of respect that, like the whole intro and the drop. Okay. Yeah, that's why I, I really try to never play with some intro edits. I always try to to play with the original edit and then for example the London. Yes, I, yes, I would never play I would it, never yes. play the London with the intro edit because I yeah, I got this feeling that this track lives from the drop. And yeah, that's uh, maybe that's one point we are mixing a little bit different. Yes, exactly. But it, I would, I would not say it's better or of worse. Course. It's just yeah, a different course. style. It's, a, it's, it's just it's a, a different, different style. style. Yeah. It's, it's a taste, like yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, a, it's technique. a taste. It's yeah, a it's technique, a technique, basically. Yeah. We was talking about the intro versions with the drum intro because we have a lot of intro yeah. versions and also they have special edits and versions. But me and Pancho, we play a lot of those just to make it sound more clear and more smooth in the mixing. While they play more with the ups and downs, they play. Yeah. I see you have a lot of a cappella edit outs or ins, yeah. a cappella yeah. out. So he on purposely left the out of the song yeah. a cappella. So then he can start with the intro from the next song, which doesn't have drums, loop it, and then maybe the sample and then on the echo and then the drop, uh, the, the, yeah. the bass kicks in and the kick kicks. I just kicks I just try to to let it breathe a little bit. Just I, I just try to let it breathe a little bit to go down and then to bring the next banger in. That's what I try to, yeah. I used to play like high energy all the time and one very good friend of mine, uh, Draghi Ivanov, uh, yeah. a very good producer from, he used to study in, uh, abroad and he's a very, very high, high, high level producer and very young, uh, one of the best friends of my brother. He once told me, he listened to me playing, he's not into hip hop, he's more into uh, rock music, indie okay. music and stuff like that. And he told me, I love the way you play, but you need to let the song come down just a little, and the energy in the room come down a little bit so they can feel the up again. And it was like 5 a.m. talk, we were drunk in the outside of the club. And it hit me like like straight in the head and I was like, damn, he's right. And then I started to let it down a little bit mm -hmm. and go up again. Yeah. But I guess you do it more often and kind of you live more, you do it for a longer period of time in one song. Usually yeah, well, just just a little bit down and then up again. Yeah, sometimes it works out, but sometimes it does. So yeah, it's <laughs> always sometimes you just have to try to put your balls on the table and try it out and yeah, see what happened. <laughs> what was the favorite song you played on the, on Thursday that got out a very good reaction? 
That's what do you oh, think? That's do you remember? A hard question. Yes. Yeah. What What would you say? Which Which song was was the most hyped song or edit or whatever from Tuesday? Because you mm -hmm. was you Yo, you you, me, you had the party behind me. So for me, for me, I say also this club is very is built very good. You have you you sitting in the people. You have people. I love when you have people behind, behind you, yeah. not only in front. You know, you have the crowd. You're sitting in the crowd, and you can feel it. The energy is with the people. It's not. That you up you up there and the people okay, like you know, also the people don't request a song, never, never. So poof. yeah, no yeah. requests in three days. They yeah. really appreciate Bro, yeah, the DJ. Oh, appreciate I'm kidding, that. I'm kidding <laughs> about it. I'm giving you about it. Yo, yeah. that's like a compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's for real. To us, yeah. you know, and you know. they really they really appreciate the DJ. They standing just next to the DJ. Some of those they they look up to the DJ and they. Yeah, they act like this is an important person. And in Switzerland, I would say it's just like the guy behind the bar or something. It's just he does his job and that's it. And that's different here, yeah. Uh, it's kind of different as well here. I think that we were lucky to play three very nice clubs with three very good crowds. And I think that we work on that. We work. Uh, we try to make the DJ important and try to make the... Not the most important thing, of course, as Toby said. We don't want to be on top of everyone feeling like superstars or something. Yeah. The DJ needs to be part of the crowd as well. But the way we play and the way we treat our own parties and residencies and events, we try to give the DJ its his space to play music. Of course, the DJ is played for the crowd, and that's the most important thing. But uh, I'm happy that we didn't have requests because it usually happens in Macedonia as well. And it's not always respected. But we were lucky to be like that, and we are lucky that we work hard to make the... To make the energy of our events at least be like that, you know? Yeah, but it's, I mean, yes. at yes. least it's just because of you. It's just because of you guys. Because you guys used to do that like this, like the way how you do. And yeah, it's just because of you guys. Really, you did Thank a great you. job so far because it's... Also, you, you raised, you raise, uh, since I know you, over 10 years, you raised also the, the hip-hop culture here. You and Pancho, Nasty... That's that you can feel it, yeah. People know what's up. Yeah, you can feel yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a big compliment to us, to be honest, man. A huge compliment. And um, I would say I remember the th Thursday night was amazing, but I remember one one uh, mix you did with uh, Hot uh, Hot Nigga by Bobby Schmurda, and then Gangsta's Paradise. That's yeah. something you I would never. You didn't like that, right? It's no, no, no. It's it called Hot Ninja. Hot Ninja. Hot Ninja. Hot Boy. I have it. Hot Boy in my in my laptop. Um, Sorry, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I I like the mix when I heard it uh, when I heard so. it in the in the in the club, but I was thinking afterwards. It's like I would never mix those two songs together. How do you think about? You never mixing? play this song. I never mixed those two. Uh, which song before? Hot Boy and Gangsta's Paradise. Ah, yeah, yeah. Like a mix. Well, yeah. at least, at least, at least. Yeah, for you me. have this. You have this good hook and it's his own edit. No, it is own edit with the hook, and then you have this melodic outro feel. That's what he says. It's like you can breathe there, you know, like, and then drop drums coming in. It's not just drums, you know. I think you're you're thinking about uh, the style, right? Because it's a different year and different yes. like this. Yes, for me. But for me, at least, everything DJing is just a question how you sell the songs to the crowd. It's just the question how how can you bring some tracks to the crowd which they actually don't like and then they like it because you sell them well you know what i mean because like you you said i would never do that but it was cool yeah, yeah it was cool so yeah if i yeah yeah it was if i ever see a, a insta story where you play these two songs i will bite you bro <laughs> <laughs> and the one i remember from you when the bass was rocking everything man was the Brazilian song with the satisfaction sample? Uh, Rafe, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, Rafe man. Rafe Texerxas or something. I don't know the name. Most the name was that one that I was referring to. Yeah. Elliot, yeah. Yeah, most, but it, yeah, it, most it probably, probably it was, was that one. It was that one that I was a commercial uh, Brazilian baile funk song in the club. You know, normally I go deeper in it, but I'm a little bit afraid, so I take this one, yeah. Bro, it was crazy when, the, when that bass drop. Hit like yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. and the thing the is that stage felt yeah, like yeah, yeah, like yeah. And the thing is that like it, 
th- those songs, especially for like for Macedonia, I think are unorthodox. Like, of course, they do of not course. get played. So when you come in, c- come from from outside and play, and people have fun. Like that. That's, that's the best. That's, that's the why best I thing do that this uh, one Brazilian song in the playlist. Of course, of uh, Short Shots Irish Scratch playlist on yeah. Spotify. That's why I put one song in it, that, to, to to just to introduce it, just to give yeah. a little taste. Yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. When we talk about this, because we talked about this in the on, on the way to Cavadarci yesterday in the car, we talked about the Brazilian music. The Latin music, the movement, and uh, Toby is really into it. He's very big into it. And also, it, we yeah. talked about another remix that your friend did uh, last night. You show me also uh, the one DJ Catch. Uh, DJ Catch. Yeah, yeah, one. We do a edit of a big. How Brazilian do you feel song. about the Brazilian song? Why? Why do you think the Brazilian music is good now? It's fresh. Oh, it's whole an South energetic. America or Africa. I know I like music from the third world. I can say because I have a lot of energy. Okay. I have a lot of life in it. You. You can you can feel uh, the raw real life the raw real life in in the music, the emotions. Uh, I, get, I get a lot of emotions of that. And uh, do you play that often in Switzerland? I try. Yeah, it depends also on the clubs for sure on the party on the clubs. But yeah, I try. Yeah. And do you mix it well with the hip hop and trap music, or maybe more with yes, the yes. bass music and the? No, no, more mix it with uh, hip hop, Afrobeat. Yes. Uh, a lot of remi- uh, there are good remix remixes or remix producers out like Crooks Pistols or Charo Vandal or oh yeah Charo yeah, Vandal yeah. is crazy yeah so I, lo- I I love him mm-hmm. so I try also play edits and remixes of these guys yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's good I w- I wanted to ask like since you've been like for 25 years already as a DJ uh, as a professional DJ how has your like music taste and play li- play style like ev- evolution to throughout the years like when when you started what songs were you i mean were you playing the most current stuff were you playing like all the hip hop like because this this is ba- yeah. this is basically the 2000s 98. what equipment did you use did you yeah. play on vinyl and everything like what what was the the transition to like digital the, the digital era like using serato and how did your like music taste Evolve, 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 like throughout the years. Like, how did you come to like? Because there's a certain like s- that. That's why. That's what I respect towards you. Because, like, as I said in the beginning, you you are like with the most like even even e- like e- at the same pace with Darko as well. Like everything that comes out, pr- probably you're onto it. Like Darko no, told me that, even more. That, yeah, even, even more probably yeah. because <laughs> you told you you posted you posted Young Nudie's Young new Nudie, album. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> and we talked about Young Nudie on the on the podcast. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the la, la, last, no, ep- I last episode. I got inspired by your by, by, by your story. I saw the story. I, got I like crazy in the stuff. Young Nudis also have something like. Then I hear some snakes effects in the music. Then I'm yeah. <laughs> I like it's so, different. Yeah, you that's know? what that was my dirty, question. How you know? did you? I like, yeah, I like. How did the, you? Yeah. How did that Atlanta evolve? Stuff, like, you can feel you the Atlanta stuff always. I hear I hear it in the morning now now a bit in our, our apartment. Sometimes I feel oh it sounds like Gucci Man and Gucci Man is. It's big for me, huge. Of course, yeah, yeah. So, uh, this transition, mm, I can't tell it because I started with 16, 17 to get a, as a fan. I'm still a fan. I'm every day a fan of this culture. So, I can't say you what the transition was from vinyl to digital music. For me, it was crazy because I re- release a lot of mixtapes in the past. Also, we produce CDs sell the CDs to stores. I don't grow up with streaming. So I have to also yeah. three horrible years with uh, illegal downloads. So, but I never was uh, like disappointed because I'm still a fan. I see hip hop is uh, growing up, um, always growing. It's a young a young culture and then now it's, I think it's the biggest youth culture in the whole world. Of course, of course yeah. For sure. for sure. Yeah, and how did like that transition t- uh, like in the 2010s when like Drake, Nicki Minaj started like YMCMB, were you like looking forward to that type of music or yes. were you like like because like people I never stuck, never stuck in uh, something old school, I love it I respect it, I, you know, I grew up with Big L a big Big L fan uh, Cool G Rap Snoop Dogg and Gucci Man, yeah. Master P 
Of course. Yes. No limit. So, no limit, yeah. 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 Kings. <laughs> <laughs> Real kings. So, and for me today, it's like, it's the same. So it, yeah. keep the energy. Um, I'm still a big fan. Um, every day, listen to new music, different uh, genres. Yes. What do you think about the new music uh, coming out today? What do you like the most? What you don't like? Because we kind of have some strange feelings nowadays. We think we think the trap music is getting stagnant and it's kind of repetitive. And I, I every everything is going faster now. You know, and you have this 50 seconds on TikTok and then it's game over. Next, it's like fast food a bit. You know, you you consume it. You in the in the past you need to go. I need to go to the train with the train to the big city like Zurich, go to the record store, and you're the only guy from my small town who really interesting in in this, 100%. So today you can take your iPhone, yeah. and they say to you, what's cool? So yes. that's, yeah. I mixed up. Yeah, you need to dig what you like and take your time, yeah, take your passion. And Carl, what do you, What's your background? What did you start to listen when you were younger? And uh, how your style evolved through the years? Because I know that you like a lot of reggae dance call as well. And how did you start to DJ? Because you told me a story in Stanitsa about your beginnings as a DJ as well. Yeah, well, I would say, first of all, 50 Cent was the greatest for me. Like, 50 Cent was for me what was... Yeah, of course, for us as or well. Or somebody else, I don't know, Gangstar or something. And yeah, I started with my brother. We just... <coughs> bought the equipment for I don't know 100 euro <laughs> like two turn two turntables and one mixer for around 100 euro so cheap as fuck plastic everywhere so yeah we just try it out we practicing I was practicing like two years in the basement and yeah once I was in a club in Schaffhausen and I heard the DJ and I was talking to my brother I said Bro, we could do this better. It was never the idea to play in a club or something. But I just got this feeling I would do it better. So yeah, we tried to get in and since then, yeah. I play in clubs nearly every weekend, yeah. Yeah, what's the what's the story with the genres? How how your style evolved with the or what genres do you listen to except for hip hop and well all that? I, I would say it's a little bit hard for me to listen to music where which I don't play in a club. Ah, so you you mostly listen to music that yeah, you Yeah, I club? mostly I mostly listen to music which I can play. So even I if I really like a song, yeah, I will hear it a few times, but then I have to go further. I I always looking for some club playable tracks. But yeah, at least as as Toby said, the fucked up thing today is the people go in the club and they already know what they want to hear. And I think his generation is like, you go to the club to hear some new music, like the DJ introduce new music and you go back and you came out from the club and you were thinking, bro, I have to, what song was that? I have to, I have to, I have to find it or what's the name or the, 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 the rapper or whatever. And nowadays, yeah, I'll go in a club and the people already know what they want to listen to because they got, like, every song in their pocket on the iPhone, Spotify, whatever. So, yeah, that's... And what do you usually play in Switzerland? What kind of styles, what kind of genres, what, what artists do you play? <sighs> it depends on the club, of course. Nowadays, but for me, 2000, uh, 2023. Well, I, I love to try out some things, but I would say... Afrobeats, Latin, yeah, for the girls, as we said. Yeah, we play I, for the girls. I like to. I really like to play for the girls. Yeah, Latin, Afrobeats, hip hop, and yeah, uh, for me there are just like a few songs which I, I got this feeling they had to play. I don't care about the location or whatever. What songs? They just like now it's I just want to rock from from Lil Uzi. Okay. I, I just, I would say I I will play it everywhere. I don't care at least so because this is one song now it's one of the biggest songs and nobody should come and say no this is not that it's oh, the biggest me, song you know for me to be honest it's too hard for some places and it's too 
too energetic for some places that we play. And I think if it, if it didn't go viral like it did, uh, I'm still not playing it. That, really? That much, yes. Yeah, D Darko's not playing but it that much. Like, almost never, actually, if I'm honest. But I, at least I, I really try to play for the people. Like, I really try to play, n let me say, 90% for the people, what they really want. And I just grab 10% and I, I play what I really, really, really feel in, in this time, in this year or in this month or in this, on this day or whatever. Yeah, that's... That's do like you feel do you feel like a certain pressure that you have to play certain songs in a club? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. And like do you do you like uh do you go for it or 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 you are you like fuck it, I'm going to play whatever I want. Like Well, at least I I always play whatever I want like or what I like. I would never play a song which I hate. Like we just talking about this helicopter song yesterday. I even I even I, I I, I don't I don't have this I don't have this song on my computer because I I don't like it and even yeah. there is a promoter which says you have to play this song I don't play it because I don't like it yeah but yeah I I play a lot of Justin Bieber because I like him I can play up tempo stuff like yesterday some EDM some crazy yeah just a little bit. That's Our house, or yeah, house everything, new right? tech yeah. house, it, it, and it's whatever, now, yeah. yeah. EDM is dead, right? Yeah. I, I, I just <laughs> used to play what I like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I can respect that because, as I said, like D D Darko is not, is not the, he he. I don't know how he feels about Jersey Club music, but like I just want to rock. Is 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 like go, going there. So, it it's a new genre which. I mean, it's it's not oh, a new no, genre, no, no, but yeah. it's 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 a genre it's that's the yeah, now the, the yeah that, it, that is getting in the spotlight right now. He was playing to me on the way uh, to Kavadarci last night some new uh, Jersey Club music. With the uh, mm -hmm. Q. What was the name? I don't remember. Um, yeah, la last day I was uh, thinking uh, about what I play. Yeah. And French Montana he has tracks. Ah, Ratatata. Yeah, ratatata. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too yeah, rare. Yeah, exactly. Too rare. Too yeah. rare. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I was thinking about in the day. I was uh, thinking about oh, what I can play after Lil Uzi, uh, the big Lil Uzi song. So, and this is yeah, like Jersey Club drums are are a little bit back, you know. The vibe is back a bit, and then I uh, yeah, search some tracks. Yeah. But also, they say K Camp song is crazy. I don't know the name. It's a new K Camp song, really crazy. Yeah. To go back uh, to your question, well, I would say. I'm a lucky guy because it it uh, happens really often that the the songs which the people are really like I like it as well. So yeah. yeah, there's a match, there's a kind of match between the people and me and I just live from the I would say as a DJ I just live from the energy. If they give me energy, of course, I will play it, you know? Yeah. I will play it because yeah. I really live from the energy. I, I I love to put the fader down. That's a big difference. Darko never did it. I love to put the fader down and they sing along. And no, you don't we do it you, often. You do it often? But we but we did warm up sets. Okay, yeah, okay, that's true. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But yeah, I really but like, love to do it yeah, and we do it as well. It's the same it's the same as I as I said before. If sometimes it works out, sometimes it does. Yesterday it was both. Yeah. It was both. <laughs> Sometimes I try it out and I was like, what the fuck? They don't sing along at this song. And I was trying it out to another song and I was again, what the fuck? They sing along about this song? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> so that, that was a little bit weird. Like, yeah, they sing along Te Bote, but they don't sing along, I don't know. Empire State of Mind or something. Empire State of Mind or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah that was. Umbrella. That, that that was the yeah. biggest surprise last night. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah. yeah. The thing is that like, uh, do, do you play any any kind of residences in in Switzerland? Like, are you do you have like a certain club that you play each week? Yeah, like each, each month, month. Yeah, each yeah. month and there are yeah. like do, three do you, or four clubs. Do you feel like the, the 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 same type of energy that you felt like in in Stanitz on Thursday? Like because like, uh, as Darko would say, like each it's each week. So like. Certain songs have like a like a status. Like when they play them, the crowd instantly reacts to it. Like one of them is Diamonds. Diamonds uh, by, uh, yeah, Short TP always yeah, plays yeah, it. Yeah, Short TP always it. plays it, and it's like 
the crowd always goes crazy. So, like, how, how do you go about, like, residencies? Do you have, like, a certain energy that you bring to the club? Or people are expecting it from you? Like, hey, Curl is going to play this month at the residency. I know what he's going to bring. Or is it, like, different people coming each time? How are the crowds going about? Because, as Darko said, like, in Spicy especially, people are more directed to the DJ. Like, they are not directed to themselves, to their tables. Like, most of them look to, towards the DJ and, like, they have, like, like an event, like a, like a type of concert. It's not more like dancing with each other. So, is, is, it, is it different or is it the same, like, in Switzerland and where you mostly play? How is the culture over there, like, in comparison to Macedonia? Well, I would say, the first of all, we used to play, like, from 11 till 5 o'clock sometimes. Like the club is open at 10 or 11 till 5, so this is 7 to 6 hours. Yeah. And yeah, I used to play in one club each month where I have to play from 11 till 5, so this is 6 hours. Yeah. And I don't really can play a, a mixtape like for the first hour. I have to play from the beginning to the end. So yeah, they, they just, I think they expect energy from me, but not like a special song or a special genre or something. They just expect energy from the beginning to, end, to the end. And yeah. And what about the colors thing you, you do, uh, which me and Pancho was guest in December? That colors is like a thing you do in Schaffhausen once in, uh, once in a month? It's not, uh, now it's five times a year. Five times a year. Yeah. And uh -huh. what's, the, what's special about colors? What makes a colors party co colors party? It's the, I think it's the oldest hip hop party in our town Schaffhausen and okay. we do it now over 15 years with this name still running good we have some also was hard corona time and after after the corona coming back with the genres of music with the crowd what what was so difficult yeah how i say it it's going so fast that people forgot in one day so new people new generation you have to connect with the new generation with the younger people to bring them to the club and make a new logo. Always running a bit with time, for sure. Don't forget the, don't forget the, the history and the, the beginning. Traditionals, also the tradition, are, we don't forget, but we always looking forward. And that's what I love. Yeah. We try to I think do it's it the number one hip-hop party in, in uh, Schaffhausen, yes. Yeah, well, sure, I, yeah. I have to say Colors was for me, as a young guy, was like, the biggest thing was the biggest deal all over. You was, like you was you, you was a fan of colors. You was going to the parties. Yeah, I was I was I was there on every party. I tried to bring people or friends from other cities to this party because yeah, it was a hip hop party at least, and it's it's a really big deal to play there now. Like I I used to play on nearly every every party on every colors, so it's that's a huge deal and even like. Uh, Toby and, and his DJ friends, they were like DJ Premier for me or something, you know, they were like the, the biggest and I just tried to understand what they do and, and how they do it and yeah, it was like this, so I would say Colors has a status in Schaffhausen, it, it's, it's like Stanisa in, in, in your town, yeah, for me, for me, yeah. It's about to... Also, you have a chance to connect when you have, when you have a chance to organize a party to make a you can connect with other DJs. It was from the first day we always book on a colors DJs from outside and DJs from the from the local from town what? to connect. That is what about so the people uh, the DJs coming talk together, new DJs coming, young DJs, legendary DJs. Yeah, that's that's the point. So. Yeah. Thanks for making us a uh, part of it once again. And we had a blast. And uh, we talked with Raiche and also talking on the podcast about the experience. And it was very colorful, uh, I would say, with the crowd, with the music we played, with everything. And I think the Colors name fits right at the moment with your, uh, where your party is at the moment. I think the name fits very well because you have all generations, all backgrounds, all nationalities. We played different kinds of genres throughout the whole night from 11 until 5. And... It was a great experience for us. Yeah, I, w I, I would want to like experience that like a, a party from 11 p.m. to, to like 5 a.m. Because I'm going to be honest, like Stanitsa is not enough for me. Like yeah. <laughs> those four hours, like we, 
Nah, I have, oh, nah. Okay. That 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 was in like 2016. But uh, I wanted to ask you, how did you guys? How did you guys meet? Like, what was the connection? What what like brought you together? Like to play and to to be like a duo to to go everywhere and play throughout the world. I, I, I mean, it's with, how did you? Yeah, uh, how, yeah. How did you find him? And yeah. How did you? Uh, how did you? Con- how, how did you two guys connect? Mm, in Schaffhausen, I was always searching young DJs who are ready to put everything in it and I'm also a fan to can keep a fan of this uh, DJ of this person to l- still learn I'm learning now a lot of from him from you yes what was the and my English is not so good today because After of the three, three nights <laughs> 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 I'm really surprised uh, of his English because so yeah, it's better than he, he talked we are espresso voice. my brain yeah. is like bam yeah. this is espresso yeah. voice this is vodka voice <laughs> 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 What was the Pancho is listening? <laughs> yeah. Watching? He might be. He might yeah, be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was the thing, the most important thing at, uh, for uh, that you see in Curl to decide? Okay, this guy is the guy I want in my crew, and I want to build with him. Mm. Progress, progress. I mean, you you can't have a plan. You, for sure, you have a vision how you want to do it, but then when you work on that vision, the the way goes right, goes left, goes up, goes down. Yeah, yeah. very nice man. I always when I'm traveling like this, it's nice to share your what you see, what you experience yeah, and experience. Yeah, to share it. Yeah, great man. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the a bit more about the music and the selection, the genres and the edits and everything. Like, do you do your own, or do you download them somewhere? Because I think we have some. Hopefully, we have some DJs that listen to us, younger, older, so we can give them some tips and. How do you do your edits? Where do you find them? Well, yeah. Sorry, w- one important question. Do you... First, this question. I was thinking about it uh, last night. Uh, first, do you play the song once as the, as the original and then you see where it fits in your set and how it fits and then you decide, okay, for this song, I need a cappella out so I can mix it with this one and this one on the uh, after it and then you make the edit or you make the edit as soon as you hear the original song before you even put it in Serato because usually what I do is uh, I play I play songs and then I see okay for this song maybe I will need something else maybe this part is long maybe but I first have to play it a few times just to feel the fill out the song what's your process behind it well there are some different um, reasons maybe one reason is I don't like a rapper and I just cut out <laughs> his part <laughs> Or fair enough. Or sometimes there is just a boring song. I yeah, I have to play, but I will try to to make it sexy a little bit. Like this. Um, yesterday I was playing an edit from uh, from Kanye West. This power. Okay. Song. Yeah, I really like the song, and I think it's cool to sing along with this. Eh, eh, yeah, yeah, the chance. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. It's really hard to play this song because it's not it's not known as this party song, you know. And I just try to 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 make an edit to yeah to give the whole the whole set like a signature taste, you know, okay. with these ups and downs. And I I just try to to play as clean and as yeah I don't know as clean as possible. And I just try to sell them songs in a good way like yeah did you play power the original first and then you re- you realized okay i need a remix for this no no i just realized from the beginning you you cannot play this song like this and of course i hear it somewhere else on tiktok or from another dj how he does it and yeah i just i just i i just try to uh, make my own versions but of course i just inspired by other djs i didn't yeah i just And what is the edit like? Do you do, did you add drums to it or what like was it? Claps or something, and you make well, the, yeah, a like a clap intro or put your hands up or echo out uh, or or a cappella out or a cappella in or make some noise <laughs> or whatever, just to yeah, just to push it a little bit, yeah, just to to try to play this song in an other way than other DJs. Of yeah, course, I yeah, I just try to find out my signature way. That the people just realize, oh, it sounds different. It's the same song, but it sounds 
different it sounds better or yeah that that, push that, that, it that more. was like the I main thing that i said like i can see like the i can compare it but it's 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 it, in that way it's different like the way you play things so that that's you have your own signature sound like i think you also play one one edit from uh, all of the lights you also played it on thursday yeah it was not mine i just downloaded somewhere i i, I do didn't know the exact edits? sorry where do you find your edits <laughs> usually where do you go to search or soundcloud or Bandcamp or heavy hits, DJ City, whatever. Yeah, you just have to dig, like as always. Yeah, yeah. I got some folders from from Toby, from other DJs. Yeah, I just, I as I said, I always looking for some new stuff, which just sounds a little bit different than than the rest of it. Yeah. Great Yeah, that's great. Uh, so I wanted to ask, like. What are your? I know that you're booked already. So what? What are your upcoming gigs? What are your plans throughout the month? Um, oh. How how how's the how's the, the the next few months looking like? Talk about this. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, normally like we have our resident uh, gigs like in Basel, Zurich, Schaffhausen as well. Um, we go to Miami in two weeks, but this time I don't play uh, because Carl is was playing. I'm going there to. Yeah, inspiration, listen to other DJs. I love the DJs in Miami, DJ A-Train and Iron Lion, DJ Conflict. It's great DJs to hear, to come back to our, back, come back to Switzerland with new ideas, new impressions. What mm -hmm. do you think is, uh, how, do they, how, how do they play the music and the hip hop, especially in Miami? What's uh, also depends, you have the strip clubs, this is a completely whole n own world. There is, re you hear 40 Money Bag Yo songs, you hear 20 Money Man songs, and Young Dolph, K Camp. And you have this uh, open format DJs who are really good in transition. They play rock music, reggae music. And the, the transition is very good. They're technically very good. Yeah, and you have, you have strippers, you know. <laughs> strippers change everything. <laughs> and what about the music selection compared to, to Switzerland, for example? And compared to Macedonia, it's completely different from Macedonia for sure. No, it's not so different. You, you, how how we say it? You, so it's it's same songs everywhere, but how you how they play it, how they introduce, how they introduce to, the yeah. to the crowd. You hear songs like from Cardi B in every in every part of the world, but the DJs are a bit. You know, they are DJs. They play every day, so they are very good. So they they need to be good. The resident DJs over there are really good. Nice. Are, are you excited for Miami? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. What I have to say as well for the beginning for my DJ career, um, yeah, the people in my city, Schaffhausen, like the promoters like Toby or some friends, they always book international people or really, really, really good DJs. So, yeah, I, I often have to play after them. So they fucked up the whole club for two hours and at 3 o'clock, they said, okay, now it's your turn. You have to go one more hour. And that was for me, like, fuck. <laughs> like, the <laughs> DJs were on a level. Like, th th some of the best DJs from Germany played on a party. And Toby came and said, like, you will play at 3 o'clock. And you have to fuck it up. And, of course, it was a big pressure for me. But at least I'm really, really happy about it because... It challenged me. Yes, it's you know, it challenged me. You cannot play like a cheap song after uh, a crazy set. You have to go crazy then, and you have to go. Yeah, you have to thinking about it. It's a, it was a big challenge, but after that, yeah, I'm really happy about it. You know, it. The challenge is real. It's yeah. not talking. The challenge. You can feel it. Also, have this situation because you feel it on your body now. The pressure. <laughs> and then it. That is. You learn. Do you learn the most in this yes, situation? That's what makes you a better DJ and more yes. more prepared for yes. every situation. Then you mm -hmm. come in the headlining spot and then you smash it like it's easy, yeah. like it's nothing. Yeah, not like it's nothing, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you're prepared. If you if you sweat some t-shirts before, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> for three years, if you sweat like a t-shirt on every gig, because because yeah, the DJ before you was like killing the whole thing. Yeah, you have to be prepared and you have to play good and you have to still surprise the people after that huge DJ. 
Yeah, that that challenged me. Yeah, yeah, because it, I mean, there's a certain energy when you're headlining, and like when you when you're closing out or when you're warming up. So like, but I like th that's that's the thing. Like, I wanna uh, like I'm interested in more like the technical stuff, and I see that you are technically w very well prepared, and like. Really? Nah, nah, nah. You're sell you're selling yourself short, man. Uh, but yeah. No, it depends who he, who he uh, compares uh, to. Yeah, of course. But no, 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 no. I, I wasn't talking about ah, scratching. Okay. Like, the, like Dark 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 Horse was also yeah, using the yeah, effects like, and the. Ah, okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like okay. technically mm -hmm. coming technically prepared is like doing a perfect beat match, like matching ah, okay. the energy of the song and everything. And like, mm -hmm. like w what I saw from you, uh, it can be a little chaotic. But it there's a meta yes. like there's a certain meta to the madness like <laughs> that's why I always say like it, yes like it, it makes sense that that this comes after this like he drops it down and then he plays killing me softly as a last song like yeah. that's what he did in in, in Stanitsa, which was crazy like you what more can I say I yeah I love it how he described it so that's why I'm I'm chaotic but a lot of energy you know a lot of uh, yeah, I feel this music, so yeah, it's yeah. not it's not like a hobby for me. I I never see it like a hobby, so I never chill in it. So I'm always like a, I want to be like 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 a sport, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be it's better. A fight. Yeah. You know, I'm feeling in war. I'm feeling in a game. You know. Yes. Yeah, and that's what that, that's what I say. Like, if you were to headline a certain party, I would I would suppose like you you would have a different energy when you and you play different stuff. And yeah. if Curl was a warm up, he would have played the diff different stuff. Like. Yeah. Like apart from his said that he was like okay he was a headliner here but he if he were to like warm up for some somebody else or Whoa. close out a set for somebody else it will it, it's gonna be a whole different energy. From what I see from him, he will smash it for sure as a warm up because yeah, and that's what I want to see. Like I want to see DJs in every light. Like yes. it's yes. a certain yes. challenge. Yes. It's yes. a certain challenge and mm -hmm. like n not not mm -hmm. like you're not gonna headline every time, mm -hmm. so you have to be prepared yep. for everything that comes. I have a time of. Ten years or with, with uh, DJ Sweep, uh, my partner, I do the CD production and the music production. We always headlining, and now I'm a little bit go back in some residency in Zurich. I do the warm up, and I love it. I love it to the warm up. Not I don't need that lot of people. It's just to to play in other other songs, other yeah. Not that not every time the same songs. Yeah, yeah. Because that gives you gives you more space yeah. to experiment. I can play with the music, future yeah. twenty f future songs in the warm up. <laughs> so you can do it in the headline set, so yeah, for sure. Well, and I respect it. I'm not the guy coming. Oh, okay, now do just what I like. So yeah, mm -hmm. I don't fuck up the crowds. Of course. Talking about challenges and playing different music, he was talking about playing in the uh, Frauenfeld open air, mm -hmm. the backstage stage. What yeah. was that? Because I think the crowd here that uh, watches Pandemonium Radio, they yes. mm -hmm. they know about Frauenfeld. Maybe some of them even want to go this year. I've been there twice mm -hmm. and. Uh, We've met out there and I listened to you play yes. and all that. Mm -hmm. But he was talking about some specific uh, thing, uh, Red Bull stage, under the stage, behind the main stage. Yeah, uh, I was really happy to have a new stage. Of course, I like the DJ stage, the big stage. But sometimes, because I'm every day there, every day, Mombamba, eight times. <laughs> yeah. Every day, you, also, you go crazy, mosh be going up, okay. <laughs> nice for sure. <laughs> but now we have uh, Mr. Samigo make a new with Rappel together a club under the main stage, and sometimes the US artists or the artists they chill there, and this with also with strippers, with professional strippers. So it's under the stage. It's under the stage with a pool in it. It looks like a like That's a backstage. Crazy. It is like a club and the backstage. It's not the official backstage, but you know the big stars are hanging there. And then it's cool to, I love to play there because then I can really go into the genre. That's why I love the strip clubs in Miami. You, I, mean, I, I get the whole album now of Young Nudie. I download the whole album. I have, I have songs from Future. They are not so clubby Europe, in the Europe club. So you can play there and the US artists love it there, you know. Because yeah. the they recognize, they don't want to hear it next episode there for sure. It's, yeah, yeah. 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 I would suppose like like stripper culture culture is much different than club yeah. culture, so they tend to play a lot of different songs, uh, as opposed to like playing in certain clubs or or, or, yes. or like cafes. Yes. But it's more or less like the uh, the big artists they don't want to listen to the same songs the everyday crowd in the club wants to listen yeah. to. I mean, they want to get inspired by something else. They want to listen to different stuff. They want to. Yeah. What are the chances of you playing in a strip club in Miami? 
<laughs> it's not my goal to play there. My goal is to to sit down there and chilling with my friends Close and feel walls. the energy. Um, well, it, it's hard, really. It's hard. I was there uh, two years ago, before or three years, and I'm completely flashed because also the dancers are like like us, like DJs. They know the songs. It's like a passion. It's not about go back door and fuck a girl. It's about to celebrate with them this whole culture. It's a culture thing. Yeah. And yeah, really, you have to do, you have to experience that. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. As a hip hop interesting person, I think, yeah, because sometimes you're sitting there and you see, ah, that's why Drake say this. You can feel it in the club. You, the lyrics they have in the music, you can feel it real time in the club. Because they're made yeah. The artists got inspired. They hanging out there. Kodak Black hanging out there every week. Rick Rose hanging out there every week. Bad yeah, Bunny, I mean, Rema, all these well, guys. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, yeah, it's really nice. It's I called mean, Booby Trap. Yeah, Booby Trap on the river. Of course, World I mean, like plastic bag from Drake. Like, <laughs> yeah, a lot of time to be alive. Also, like, Candy Shop was uh, the video clip. Candy Shop is uh, filming in Booby Trap on the river. Yeah, nice. And you have this in Miami. Some people told me, yeah, it's coming from Atlanta, Magic City. But in Miami, you have this uh, influence of Latin music. You have this Dembo music, pff, crazy, El Alfa. And then it's a good mix. Yeah. yeah. It's not that dark, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would suppose so. Like, Latin music is really prevalent in Miami. Like, it, it's and the sound. I also love techno music. Te raves are also a big thing in my thing. I also I love mean, to best, go to raves. Like, like best music, like, like two bass and, and like two short, like, yeah. came, come from Miami, which is bass influence even since the 80s. Like, hip hop, was, which is, was bass influence. Like, it came, from, it came from Miami. So, it's only right that they have like more, yeah. more yes. electronic stuff into it. So, like, yeah. Oh, it's, it's different. It's different. And I uh, would love to experience that. Before we finish, we have a few more questions. I wanted to ask you some DJ nerdy stuff. How do you organize oh. your crates and how do you... And I smoke a cigarette? Can I smoke a yeah, cigarette by the nerdy yeah. questions? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> how do you organize your crates? How do you, do, do you organize them by what you're going to play, especially for one party, one event, or do you have your own folders like, let's say, warm up this, warm up that, or you have like... Because for well, me, it's a big challenge and I always uh, try to find the right way to do it, but you can never do it. I just organized my whole library during COVID, new. I me, tried me to as find, well, yeah, as well. <laughs> probably every DJ did that, but it's, man, it's, it's a thing you've never, you've been never done with it. It's like, I, I don't know if there is this proper way. I just tried it out to mm, create some some folders with um, with vibes, with moods. Like, if there are some girls which are between 20 and 40 in a bar and you have to play the warm-up, there are some specific songs you can play. But it's in, a, it's in the same mood, but it's not just reggaeton or just R&B. It's just like it's in a mood, you know? So you it, can it's coming from the... From the spe specific uh, dance floor vibe, exactly. Yeah, to the serato, not the other to the music, not the other way around. You don't you don't separate them by genre or something, but how they fit in how they fit. On yeah, one dance floor or one exactly how they fit. And of course, I got a folder with just with with my edits or a folder with with the intros or with intros or with some warm up tracks. Like yeah, I got like four or five or six or seven or eight warm up folders. And yeah, there's there's always this folder which uh, I got the music from this month, so which which I download in this month. But yeah, bro, it's it's that's probably the hardest question: how you organize your music in the best way. It's yeah, I, bro. I think it's for you guys. It's more like muscle memory. Like with with me curating playlists, it's basically more i mean it's more specific to you guys but it's it's more of a feel like whenever you place a song you know it's there but you do not know it like in the back of your hand but you, you know it like but the thing is if you don't organize your crates well then course. you get stuck with the same songs over and over again absolutely yeah and that's yeah. that's a very bad thing because um sometimes you need to see a song to remind yourself to play it 
I mean, there are too many songs too many to remember songs. to, yeah. And you can go in so many different directions in every night. And so many different ways of putting a, put, putting the playlist, uh, the yeah. tracklist together. And so it's kind of, I think that's a big challenge. And I always talk to Ogi and to all the young DJs, like, get your, get your crates ready, yeah. organize them well. You do it your way, you know. What do it your have. way, yeah. I yeah, think that's the most important thing. But you need to be prepared in every moment. Of course. Yes, I won't yes. say that my crates are perfect. I'm still working on them every day. But I mean, that's a process that you have to, like, go through every day. Like, there's a certain amount of tracks that drop each day. So, like, you have to you have to download them, put them in a crate, see where they fit, and, like, just go about it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Which, with which song... Do you end your set? Like, which is your last song <laughs> now, right now? In, let me say in this year or this month or this I would week. Say for, I would say for, for Spicy, we had 20 parties. We end usually, I, w I won't say last song, but I would say for the closing. I talked to Toby as well. We play uh, Niagara Falls by Metro Boomin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Travis Scott and uh, Future, I think. I'm not yeah. sure, no. Uh, we also play Spin Bout You by Drake and 21 Savage. For the closing, we play Orna by The Weeknd for the ladies for the closing, Under the Influence. And also uh, Tove Low, uh, Gotta Stay High all the time, you remember? So I usually tend to close close out the... Yeah, something spicy, booty, something like... To do it like that for us, for the for the crowd, for the, for the crew, for the ladies in the crew and like... I try to close out sexy. Sexy as possible. Yeah. yeah. So we can have a nice after party afterwards. Time flies <laughs> by Drake. Time like. flies, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah something yeah, yeah. like that, slow and moody, like that, that that can put you in a certain mood. So yeah. Last night we played El Alpha and Gordo as last song. Yes. Last night we played <laughs> El Alpha. You, uh, you can talk about El Alpha more, but with Gordo, aka Carnage, you know Carnage yeah. since yeah. way back. Now, now it's uh, called Gordo, yeah. Now yeah. It's called Gordo. He's played he plays different style now. Tech, tech house influenced by all the Latin culture and using samples from the hip-hop mm -hmm. and the Latin and collaborations and stuff. So he closed out with that one and also we needed 30 more minutes last night, I think. What do you think? Yeah. It's always the same first, issue. Huh? It was food cheese, was huge in the end. I love yeah, to yeah, play it. In or is it the original edit of this food cheese song? Yeah. yeah. It's my childhood. You, so play, this song it, is you play it for closing uh, often? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still it's in my set. Yeah. Uh, for the late classic hip hop thing, I like to play Outcast and this Future song. Yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, it was nice because we in Mavrovo uh, yesterday. Shout out to Mavrovo. Shout out to Red Bull. Uh, yeah. I closed out with Road to Zion by Damian Marley and Nas. Yes, yeah. it was day yeah. party. Day party. Everyone from the crew was very drunk and high, and everyone was vibing and. I went to that the reggae set in the end, yeah, and I closed out with nice, that one. Yeah. And before that, I played uh, "Where Is the Love" by Bla uh, Black Eyed Peas. I like that song a lot. Okay, yeah, it, it was kind of positive vibes, you know. Yeah, it was nice, kind of uh, yeah. like very happy and very yeah, yeah. Uh, uplifting. Yeah, that's know? a different type of energy. Like it's it's daylight, it's it's snowing outside. Everybody's having a great time. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. drinking alcohol, smoking weed, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah. they they just want good vibes, like. They, they do not want high energy or anything like that. They just want a s something so they can sing along to, like... Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trach, you have something else? Uh, yeah, I wanted, to, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to ask one more thing, like... Uh, what do you listen to on a day-to-day -day basis? How do you go about, like, do you listen to albums and then, like, select songs, whichever you want to... Money back, yo. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I, I mean, have yeah, a... But uh, since Corona, uh, I have a... Daily job is not 100%, but I deliver, uh, uh, not drugs, medical drugs. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I have time in the car. I In the car is a bit different. I listen to albums in the in the car for sure this week. For sure I listen to Don Tolliver. Now I have time when I drive. Yeah. So I listen to it in the car. Yes, albums, yeah. So yes. yeah, you listen yeah. to albums mm -hmm. and then you, you select mm -hmm. tracks. Yeah, like if coming if from in, in, the, in the 90s or around 2000s. You really have albums. That's also why I love yeah. this Drake 217. It's, a, it's an album. Uh, yeah. Drake also, sometimes he make good. He's a, I like artists who make albums, album artists. Yeah. I really like. Not that, for sure, popping a single out is also crazy, like like Bobby Schmurder, you know, this yeah. hip-hop in one song, you know. But, yeah, 
I take this time also in the, in the, for, for sure in the car. Yeah. At home sometimes, yeah. Different, also home parties, then we go in a rave. <laughs> yeah. Techno music. Yeah. Also, yeah. I have my two close, one close, two close friends, uh, really also interesting in techno music and and different genres. The, the genre don't depend. I have a friend who, who is a, a frontman in a rock band and really hard. Also, really like they fighting at the at the concerts. <laughs> they yeah, bam, fighting yeah, mosh pits, each other. Yeah, yeah. No, re, no, it's really mosh pits. Mosh yeah, pits. yeah, real mosh pits. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like Marilyn Manson. I like rock music. I like. I'm a big fan of uh, Guns N' Roses. Yeah, sometimes I listen to it. Yeah. How do you get inspired by the techno music and the rave culture and the house music? Because we talked about mm -hmm. uh, last night as well about Drake and his guts to make a house tech house yes. album. Yeah. The and vibes is crazy. The the vibe when you go in a club, it's not about the songs. It's about a whole vibe. Sometimes it's feel it's like one song, five, four hours. And I like the DJs, it's very, it's that nerdy thing, but I like it because it's it's about bass and energy from the music, loud music. I also was on Rotterdam last year. I First time I get to this uh, dub reggae scene, dub, sis, dub sound systems. Yeah. You're standing on the wall, you don't see the DJ, you all just have this wall and the people and pff, yeah, crazy. The big sound systems like tall yeah, like yeah, yeah, the whole yeah. building. I need this like a medicine you to to keep going on. Yeah. Uh, Curl. What about you, Curl? How about yourself? Well, I would say I I listen to some mood playlists. As I said before, I really like to to catch this magic between genres, which are going at least to the same mood. So maybe there is a hip hop song and there is a R and B song and there is a Latin song, which brings me in, into the same mood, you know, it's like the, it would be in the same crate on yeah. my laptop because it's, I don't know what is it, but there's a magic thing which, which sounds familiar to the other song or to the other genre. And uh, yeah, I really like to listen to some mood playlists or some, yeah, like this. I, I don't really like to, to, to listen to some. One song rock, one song R&B, one song electro. When I listen to electro, I would like to listen to, yeah, electro songs kind of more similar, or less. Similar sound. Interesting is also when you have uh, people around you who coming from there. I have some friends. They they are Dominican, and sometimes I I say to him, it's not a DJ, but I say but I say to him, hey, play your music, play your music in your car or in your home or when we go to holidays together, then we say, okay, play a song. And this is crazy when you have people coming from Africa or coming from different uh, different countries. And then and they're interesting also in music, they fans. So get the music from these guys because they know what's up. Yeah, you, don't, yeah. you don't have to be a DJ yeah, for this. Of course. I you have just friends, have to they, when, when, they are, when they know how it technically works, they will kill us. I have a friend from uh, he's from Dominican Republic. He's the guy. DJ Ray. <laughs> I, I was with him in the holidays and we make build a hold up a sound system and he, he showed me six hours music from his from his uh, Spotify playlist. And hey, I will give him thousand euros to get this playlist free. Believe me, it's crazy. I also have a friend. Uh, he also make music. He's uh, half African, half Swiss. What he showed me in Amapiano and African music and Afrobeats, everything is also Jamaica. He also to have a lot of Jamaican music. Jamaica is also crazy dance hall, unbelievable. Mm. Yeah, I think it's good, and that's a good thing about Switzerland is that it's very international. Yeah, it's diverse. Uh, diverse, and you get people also on the dance floor, but also in the groups, in the in the as, as friends as. Everything yeah. you get, you can get inspired and you can play more for them. While here in the Balkans, it's kind of different, but it yeah. is what it is. But That's I why we get inspired by, by you guys. Of course, but, but, but I can respect what Toby said. Yeah, it, I, I can respect what Toby said because, like, you don't have to be a DJ just so you can get, like, you can show music, you can show music to people. Yeah, because like, there are people that listen to a lot of stuff, and me and Darko as well. Like, we always, like, complete each other in a way because, like, he he's more towards 
what what his style is and like whatever Darko plays, Darko listens to actually. But then again, like I will send them, I will send them something. Hey, listen to this, and he most of the time he's gonna like it. He's gonna send me some stuff. I'm gonna like it, and we complete each other. Like there are certain holes in our in our like in our like music libraries that we fulfill with each other. Like basically, like hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna like give like I'm gonna listen to a new artist. I'm gonna send it to him, and he's gonna be yeah. This is good. Maybe th this is not gonna. This, I'm not gonna use this in a set, but this is good for me for for an after party or or something that I want to show to my friends or even listen to the to like while I'm while I'm driving the car and everything like that. And that's why Pandemonium exists basically because yeah. all the, all of the time since way back, like we've been friends since 2012, and like since then we have been always like fulfilling each other's like music libraries, like each other tastes because. We come from the same background, but we listen to a lot of different stuff. Yes. Like that's what people. <sighs> I think as well. Ah, uh, uh, will be a good DJ yeah. <laughs> for the mic. Uh, I, 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 I'm gonna be honest. I've tried it for for like a little period of time, but uh, as I told you, like it, it, we even spoke about, it. I, yeah. I, I, I don't think I have the patience for it. Like, I can, I can probably, if if I try hard enough and if I get the basics, even though I know the basics, like. Technically, in my head, but um, I, I don't know him like to to use him. Uh, I don't have the skill set, proper skill set for it. But I can be maybe like a bedroom DJ, you know. Like if I have my own equipment in my home, maybe I can maybe I can cook up something. But for a crowd, I I don't maybe maybe for a certain perspective, like maybe if I can I can like put up a playlist that I can only play for for a, for a crowd, but not mix it, you know. Yeah, yeah. But maybe 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 something like that, but not. Not like you guys, like that's way out of my league. Like I'm not even comparing myself to you guys, but basically, like DJing, DJ, I would not be able to do that because th that's a whole different thing. Like people do not get that. Like knowing music and DJing are two separate things. Like you can know music and not be a good DJ, and you can be a good ass DJ and not know too many songs. Like, but also I think the most and and, and when you have both both of those things, you're the best DJ. Like that's that's how I go about it. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For to be a, but uh, it's a a good a good. What is a good DJ? You know, is a yeah. yeah somebody uh, who can. It's always point of view, point of view. But I think uh, in hip in, in hip hop culture, yeah, I think also you a good DJ in hip hop culture. You need you need to get in touch with the culture. You oh, oh of course, yeah, of course. You have. I I, I think. What do you mean? Is that professional to keep fresh every weekend, to be on time, to be respectful with the club owners? This is like a job, you know. Yeah, to do it course, over it's years. A career. This is what you're yeah. talking about. This, then it has nothing to do with music. Of so course, it's yeah. have to do to keep fresh, not not fucked up on drugs. Uh, yeah, don't fucked up on friends. Be loyal to your people who are coming up. Stuff like this. So that that has nothing to do with music. So yeah. Yeah, and hip and also in the hip hop culture, music is is music. You have film, you have clothing, you have, of course, everything. So uh, yeah. social media, Hustle, yeah. yeah. I think that's good. That's good. For we we can end on this, like uh, un uh, unless you have something else to. Yeah, I think we we had a we had short a nice very sweet. Yeah, we had a nice talk. Uh, it was. I'm gonna say it once more. It was really a pleasure having you guys here on our podcast. Same back. Same back. Uh, it's 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 not every day that we get 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 guys like you like especially international DJs. And when I say international, because you're a guest coming here, and I know Darko's been to 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 your home turf as well. So that's why I and I insisted on having a sit down with you guys and having a talk because like it is not every day that we get like DJs from your caliber and somebody that is so close to Darko. Because I always tell him that. He's one of the most unique DJs here because, yes. he, like, the way he plays his stuff, the way he operates, the way he does his job, it's truly unique. And, like, this is the first time that I'm seeing actually somebody close to him, like, that I can draw a comparison to. And this is not because, the, like, I'm, I'm his friend or anything like that. I'm just giving him my flowers. So, yeah, it was really nice to have you here. Thank you. And Same hopefully we, you. We, will, we will meet again, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah man. I, I appreciate you guys. And... Maybe next time I can yeah. join in the, for the whole weekend. Like, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know it's, if you're it's, ready. It's, it's gonna be hectic. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, yeah. Curl can can do it. Like, I mean, he he only drinks water, so I'll give him that. I don't know truly how you do it. When he told me that he doesn't, he does not, he does not drink alcohol. I was like, 
That's impossible. Like, if I were to DJ, I, I, you know, I was going to be an alcoholic. The owner, the owner last night, when we arrived in Kavadarci, <laughs> he said, you drink rakia? No, 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 we don't drink alcohol. You don't drink alcohol? <laughs> how, do you, how do you want to play? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Suspect, no. <laughs> he's DJ. He's DJ. <laughs> he's is this DJ gonna be good with no alcohol? Yeah. Like, what well, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, I would say, I would say, just, <laughs> I would say, the most important thing is just to jump in the cold water, leave your comfort zone, and just because yesterday there, there was no friend which comes to me anyway and say, "Whoa, that was really good." There was no friend. I just have to deliver, and you know, at least. It doesn't matter if you fuck up or if you're really good. You learn way more yeah. than on a regular booking. Like it, it doesn't matter if you're good or bad. You learn more than on every other place. Because I cannot really learn that much on a place where I play every month. Or every week. <laughs> or every week. Yeah. Then you put me in a club in a different country and say yeah let's do it two hours it's the stage is yours yeah you have to deliver or you fuck up but you you will learn more of course than than anywhere else yeah of course thanks once again for the whole weekend thank you guys for the for this sit down on sunday after three very hard days <laughs> yeah, i appreciate it yeah yeah, yeah and uh you of course have a safe flight and we we talk again after we we shut down. Uh, ovo беше Pandamonium Radio Show 78, special sniman во Нерала, Local 45, uh, моравме да го снимем, ова е секни сме да го направивме и мислам да ќе излезе топ. Фала уште на шансите, фала е фала на Нив 20, фала на Local 45, што ни го одвои овој простор, иако е цел локал полн. Фала трајче што направи ефорт да дојаме тука у Нерала, фала на Нив и... Ке го објавиме најверојатно у среда, така да се слушаме, се гледаме Pandamonium Radio Show. We out. Следна недела, дечки. Чао! Чао.